Hello, uh, the new creationist uh, here again, Eugene. Um, today I'm going to look at something I've been looking at for a while, and I'd like to do a video on it just to get it documented um, and get something out here um, because I've been spending a lot of time on it. And um, we have two genes the VCY1B gene and the VCY gene on the human Y chromosome. Uh, this is near the centromere just on the long arm of the Y chromosome, human y, y chromosome. And the reason I'm noticing it or pointing it out to you is because of a palindrome which is where the sequence is read exactly the same forward as it is backwards. So it's a mirror image uh, so to speak. So, and, and we're going to look at that right here. I've got the marked up sequence for both the VCY and VCY1B and we're going to toggle back and forth just to see um, we're going to click down first scroll down one two three just to give you an idea on both of them one two three and toggle back and forth again and you'll notice where the locations change when I toggle but the actual sequence in the middle stays exactly the same and that's because it reads exactly the same both forwards and backwards so um, this one is forwards and this one is backwards and we're going to just click down uh, three more page down again on each one two three and now toggle back and forth again and you'll see the same exact sequence and um, that goes for a while until you get towards the middle and I'm going to show you that here on the diagram because paging down through 72,000 nucleotides actually takes a while so um, what I did is I mapped it out just to make it a little easier um, there's the uh, upstream uh, flanking sequence here which is 409 base pairs long um, the downstream fl flanking sequence which is also 409 base pairs long uh, is right here and there's the uh, the gene sequence, the, uh, the protein coding gene sequences here for VCY and up here for the uh, VCY1B, which again um, are exactly the same, only a mirror image. The internal region um, from here to here is also an exact palindrome with a couple of exceptions. One is here there's uh, um, actually an insertion at this location of one nucleotide which um, gives it a one nucleotide frame shift uh, push and then here where it's canceled at this location um, where there's a deletion that restores the balance of the palindrome. Uh, also this red region here is the center which does not appear to have any um, palindrome patterns um, whether it's regulatory or not I, I don't know if it's um, just the point where the gene uh, or this this um, region folds over so that this gene can recombine with this one since the Y chromosome does not recombine with any other chromosome and being in the male specific region uh, that would make sense so um, anyhow that's it for today I uh, just wanted to point this out to you um, there's, I've got a lot of calculations here I'm just going to be working on this a little bit more um, the VCY palindrome, also known as P8 in some of the professional literature, would I, um, I'll, I'll try to get that to you as soon as I can. It's already published, so you can, you can look for it if you like. Um, anyhow, thanks a lot, and that's all for today.